When we change our mindsets, we can change our outcomes. Save our lives from sadness, depression, and anxiety, thus giving us the freedom to live the life we want. Hi, I'm Stuart Haskin, founder of Get Save, and your host of the Movement for Change podcast. Hey all, it's Stuart, your podcast host. Today's a special day for me, because we're gonna be talking about bullying, and one of our guests is my own daughter, Noelle, who's had her brush with bullying in both middle and elementary school. And she'll talk about it as well. We have our safety expert, Dave Mondarine, accompanying us. Bullying is very hard, especially when your child is being a victim of it. And as a parent, you get upset, but ultimately we have to give our child control in this situation. Because if not, then they lose all control. Of course, we're gonna be guiding them and navigating through this and helping them and being a support system with them. So anyway, let's all go make some change together. Well, welcome back. I got Dave and Noel, my sidekick, my co-host, and Dave, be whatever you want. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> comfortable and I like being me. All right, cool. <laughs> that, that is actually an important thingy with kids nowadays, actually. Yeah. Being you, because yeah. they get a lot of influences. You're not on Facebook, right? That was a test, making sure. The old people thing. Okay. <laughs> what, what is it? Old people. <laughs> old people think that's a rad. Yeah. To me. All right. But anyway, we're going to go on because something important Dave brought up last week or last uh, session or last podcast. Yeah, last podcast. That was the use of the relationship one. Uh, <laughs> but he talked about self-care for your age, which is really important because they probably, I don't know, ask her if, if you know the meaning of that because it's an important concept to be learned pretty young. Actually. Well, yeah. And she's right here. She can hear you. Um, but... Well, I want you to ask her. So... All right. I'll ask her. <laughs> We, you and I were chatting before your pops came in and yeah. we were talking about self-care and uh -huh. what is, so as, you know, I made the joke last week or last time, like, cause you're 44. Ha ha. I know, I know stupid joke, <laughs> but as an 11 year old person, what is, what is, what do you think self-care means to an 11 year old? Like just to give yourself time to relax and like, have you like be yourself, like can be alone. You can hang out with people. Just like give yourself time and like make yourself like yourself again. Oh, make yourself whole. Yeah. It's like hitting a reset button. Yeah. Right? You, ever, you, ever, you ever play a video game? You're all, ah, oh, I don't want to do I want to start over. And you hit the reset button. Yeah. yeah. Can you think of things that kind of make you anxious that you need to just kind of listen to music or take a nap? Or can you think of any things that? Like school for a lot of people, I guess. You can just like, and like make sure you have your homework and tests. And you just like can make like a weekend to like give yourself a self-care weekend, I guess. Okay. So self-care, like what, what kind of situations for young people would make them go, man, I really just need, a, I need some time to invest in me. What, what, what are some things that would make you go, I need some time? Um, <laughs> for you personally. Yeah. School, like, cause that's like, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in school, like drama and like a lot of other things. Like drama, soccer, and student council? Or are you talking drama, drama. as in drama. messes with people? Okay. Yeah. So like if you're in that, then it could be like really hard on you. If you're not the problem, but people think you are, you could just like take a day or two to relax. Yeah. And then uh, we talked about how would we really care what people think of us you know at the end of the day yeah. it's the ones that you care about yeah. you know that you want to keep your circle tight let's do this you know you're asking for a young person what does a really old person do for self-care dave that's a shitty mess of that <laughs> yes well it's nice having an ally well let's okay. i really should but let's do it let's have dave do it um well um other than Honestly, just take, like you said, taking time for yourself. And for me, it's reading. I love to read. Uh -huh. um, I, I love playing Mario Kart because I'm super dorky. Um, <laughs> I love playing music. I love, I love going in the kitchen and making something cool, like fresh stuff, pasta, or uh, roast a whole chicken. I mean, it sounds silly <laughs> or whatever. It's super easy to do. But I can just check my brain out and just go put on some podcasts or some music. I like really enjoy having your own speed. Yes, without somebody going, you know, Hurry hey, up. yeah, where's this? Where's the thing? Come on, I'm let's hungry. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come I'm on. hungry. Yeah, exactly. Give me my food. What pushes you to the want? You know, when you know you need to check out for a little bit. Oh wow. Well, actually, when I was a young person, 
I when I was probably eight or nine, I'm like, oh my god, things get a little stressful. And some people go eight or nine. What do you have to be stressful about? But sometimes yeah. it's yeah. overwhelming for young people. Yeah. And being able to take some time to play some video games. You know, for me, it was the Atari 2600 because I'm a thousand years old. Never heard of You've that. You've never heard of that. It's me either. It matters. Oh, it's young people. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Captain Pong. Oh, I um, before oh, it came that was out. Awesome game. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Just probably like 50 before even the game even came out. Yeah, well, we're not doing ages right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, not safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, it's a lot of self-care when I was a young person was just spending time by myself and yeah. just reading a comic book or watching reruns of, and this will date me, Mary Tyler Moore, right? Or um, honestly, just, it's going to sound silly, but meditating. I love to meditate. Just be quiet and just be alone with my just own thoughts. There. How long do you meditate for? Uh, a minimum, usually like 10 minutes. Usually. It's going to make me do that now. I, well, I was telling you, we were talking about, we actually took a meditation class. Yeah, we did a yoga, well, remember we did yoga, and then we did a meditation for five or ten minutes, just on, online. Yeah. I was watching on TV. I do that all the time. During the pandemic, I started doing yoga from uh, YouTube. So there were some yeah, yoga so teachers that were like, so great. Um, and then I would do guided meditation, uh, either YouTube or I'd do my own meditation. And like ten minutes is usually where I try to hit the limit uh, minimum, just so I can like check out and just kind of be alone with my thoughts for a minute. Sometimes I'll do it for a half hour, but usually not more than that. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. Actually. I couldn't sit still for half an hour. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Because every once in a while, I'll start meditating. And I'm like, I'm going to take a self-care day from it, or a self-care part of the morning. I did this two days ago. And I was meditating after stretching. And this is what happened to Noelle. You ready? Mm -hmm. I really want a cup of coffee. Did I clean the cat box? When you were meditating? Yeah. Like all these <laughs> random thoughts. Came into my head. I was like, "Hey, dude, just." But that's part of the process. Too, yeah. Is, is you, the random thought comes in? You're all, "Hey, what's up, random thought?" And you just let it go, and then you focus again. Um, but yeah, when I was about eight or nine, is when I started going. I, I really need to. I need some time for myself. Yeah. But not at the expense of other people. Where I'm like, I don't care what my sisters want. I don't care what my parents want. Go away. Yeah, go away. But I'm like, hey, I'm gonna spend a little time meditating, and that usually worked out. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. So what else, like, besides reading or spending time in the kitchen or uh, doing a preferred activity, like, what are your preferred activities to care for yourself? I like doing, like, face masks, I guess. That's so cool. Face masks. My wife and I used to do that. We do that every so often. We'll, oh. do, we'll get a face mask and we'll, we'll give each other, like, spa days and stuff. So dorky. So much fun. Mm -hmm. I'll love it. Okay, so you do a little skincare routine for yeah. yourself. I like that. What else? I like to go swimming. But I hate being by myself, so like I don't like I just like call my friends, I guess. Okay. So self care is just having for you is in, having pals over and going for a swim. What if, what if there's drama? Stay away from it. <laughs> Smart move. Yeah, because some people like I like being by myself at times. Dave obviously does. And then you like being with people. Like That is your self-care. So everyone's different. That's yeah. the good part of it. You don't have to be alone and sit there and go, oh, I hate this. It's so scary. I'm going to hide under the bed. <laughs> Someone's going to get me. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, if like you're saying if you have drama, that's the best thing is just kind of stay out of it. Be kind of neutral. And just like if there's drama with like people that you don't know don't go into it like being like a side of the story that you don't know anything about you just said oh i want to be in drama with this i want to be in drama today yeah and go be in and then cause more problems than you there are people who just love to be part of that drama i talked to a guy yesterday a friend of mine he i go you love chaos in his life he just everything he does is chaos related and i go and he thrives on it <laughs> you know, he goes oh my god you're not gonna believe what's gonna happen my, my life's like a, a sitcom or something like that dude you manufacture all this because <laughs> i couldn't keep up with that i don't i would need a self-care decade yeah. if, <laughs> if that was the case i couldn't no but but you're at a younger age you're able to go hey there's some drama here i'm gonna steer clear but you're also not the type of person because i know you a little bit you're not the type of person to like throw a grenade and go and then walk away whatever yeah so you're, you're, that is an emotional intelligence that a lot of young people don't have. And I know I didn't have when I was 11, when I'm all, I'm all, ooh, where's the drama? And I would go for find the drama and then 
it would bite me in the butt. I'm like, oh, I should not have gotten involved in that drama. But that's a big one. Yeah, because right now you're only in sixth grade. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. you keep getting older. So these are the tools right now. Like we were talking about self-care as a young age, you know, uh-huh. which is not really taught that much. Yeah. And it's important for you guys to figure out how to decompress, you know, and and then also knowing that as you get seventh and eighth and then high school drama. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see it because we saw it. Oh, yeah. And, and a lot, and we talked about this briefly, but a lot of people in the in uh, in the last podcast we talked about this, I should say, is you, you doesn't you don't need to spend like a bajillion dollars for self care. Yeah, you don't have to buy a new thing or do it. You can, you can, you can treat you yourself to. for sure. Well, not her because she's <laughs> eleven. Because I'll have to buy it. <laughs> I actually have money. Oh, what? Good. You're gonna have to give it back to me. <laughs> No, I don't. You just order things. You like, I like talk about something like, say you like sent to me, and then he'll buy it. Well, because it's needed. It's not because I just buy anything. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, yeah. moving on. Once again. So what do you think? Do you think self-care is something that people should build into their lives for like on regular intervals or only when they're stressed? Like, what is your opinion on that? I think like you shouldn't do like, because like sometimes there's like stress you don't even know. Like you could just like carry on and, and like it could be like, like stressing out like with other things, but like you don't know what it's coming from. Yeah. So like, you could like every week, every two. Okay, I like that. And then when stress starts to build up and we're aware of it, yeah. Then, then we can go. You know what? I need some time. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that quite a bit. That regular approach to hey, you know what? I I give all this to my work. I give all this to my school. I give all this to my family. I need to spend a little time for me. Yeah. Because we can't give what we don't possess. Right. If we don't feel good, we, we can't. can't give goodness. So I'm going to ask a tough question because okay. because it's a cell phone and you're privy to more. I don't know. I guess current events. So does any of those you see stuff? Because you see things that happen, right? That go on in the world a little bit. Because you guys have asked questions before, like like when. So we went when they went to war with Russia and Ukraine. Mm. My son asked my wife, "Is Daddy going to war?" Yeah. And you know, pretty much it was Daddy's so old, no one wants him. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but anyway, I mean, you see some of that stuff. Does that ever? Do you ever hear something? And go, that's kind of scary or nerve, nerve wracking, or because I know what it's happened to our nephew, your cousin. He he hears about things that happen at schools and he gets a little anxious about it. Yeah. Does any of that ever, do you ever hear any of that or see any of that? I don't think so. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the more, the less you see, because, uh, you know, your cousin, uh, we won't use his name, but, you know, hears some of it and gets a little more anxious about things. Somehow maybe he sees more news feeds or something. Because a lot of, you know, there's so much going on both on the phone. I try not to watch news in, in front of you guys because it's not really mm. it for you, you know? And so, all right. That's good to hear. That's, that's huge. My wife yells at me all the time because I'll be scrolling my news feed and she just sees me getting bent out of shape and upset. She's like, dude, close it down. Go do something. Go cook. Go play some music. Go play Mario. Go do something else besides look at your news feed because you're just going to get in a bad mood. And she's right. <laughs> and then I get in a bad mood and I'm stomping around. Going, ah, this thing that happened with the thing with the thing. And I'm just in a bad mood. And it yeah. sucks. One thing I learned from your pops is how... And this is something that really I care, and it's true, not just because we're doing a podcast and you're here and he's here, but this is something I really am grateful for is taking a breath. Just take a breath. You don't have to respond or react to everything. Take a breath so that you can respond to something rather than react to it. And that was a big thing for me for self-care. So I don't start spinning about something that's out of my control. And then some of the things that we see, again, we won't tell you about them but some of them are pretty traumatic but the opportunity that we have at get safe is that we can do a lot of, about things that go on that even the nation's crying you know hey someone has to be, do something and we're fortunate i feel fortunate to be in a position that we have a, a vehicle that can help change yeah. whether it's school things that happen bad things that happen in schools or workplaces or places of worship so those are, that's what helps me Kind of when I read these news, because I read the news feeds every day, and it's like, a lot of crazy people out there. <laughs> <laughs> but do you read? Do you read anything? You don't really. You don't do any 
YouTubing much or oh yeah you do. Well, I don't like going like oh, what happened today. Like, okay. <laughs> what do you what do you watch? Even though we monitor it, okay. Um, <laughs> It's like oh, kind of random things, I guess. Yeah, like what? Yeah, I mean, there's people you watch putting masks on, I think. Cat videos. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you just Dave. get out. Dave's heart just now. I know. I told you he has like 700 cats. I know. Three. Hundred. <laughs> no, I wish. Oh my god. Give me all the cats. <laughs> Go to his house with cats in his house. <laughs> What? Does love cats and cats in the drawers. Or, you know, her, her brother wants to get a cat, so you, obviously we talked a little bit about proper catting, I guess it would be called. <laughs> <laughs> proper cat etiquette. Yes. Cat etiquette. Anyway, <laughs> but yes, uh, so <laughs> what, what, what videos do you like to watch? Like, for like, to the, the chance I watch, they say, they do Day in the Lives. I say, like, I watch. What is it? Day in the Lives. Day in the Lives? Day in the Lives. Of oh, home. day it's in the like lives. Teenagers, I guess. Oh, all right. That's interesting. That is cool. Is it a real life or it's a manufactured life? Like, oh, we're so rich. We're going to drive Baddie's Bentley today. <laughs> or is it just like, because, you know, a lot of these, I don't know if you watch some of these things, these YouTubers. They're nuts. They're like gigantic mansions. And now we're just, we're so bored. We're going to film videos. <laughs> you know, I mean, That's one of my cousin's favorite YouTubers. Oh, really? Who is it? Danny Duncan. Oh, Danny Duncan. Okay. We don't know. We're old, all right? Oh, uh, are... Danny who? <laughs> it's my cousin's like, favorite. What, what is he? What is Danny? I don't even know who he is. It's like Danny's favorite. Oh, my gosh. She just said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the best reaction ever. <laughs> We're trying to keep her safe. And our family. But yeah, it's... I'm. Oh, you know what? And I heard, yeah, I heard not perfect things about him. Because he's kind of and he's like kind of out there, you know, kind of mm. just being like crazy and yeah. you know. He's my cousin's math teacher's husband's right. best friend. Okay, all right. Well, don't I know much about him, so I can't ever watch it. Yeah, I think he's a local. Okay. Yeah, he is. Too. Okay. But influencers are crazy now. Though. Yeah. Well, they keep upping the stakes with each other, and then things go keep... sideways. And a strange level of fame that they get because uh, my my. Uh, friend's sister's kids saw some in, in Malibu and they're like, oh my god, those are them. And it's like, what do they do? They're just an influencer. And it's like, what, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, and, and I don't want to be the person, well, this is something that I've always had an issue with when the older generation dumps on the younger generation, go, ah, you're, you, the way you do things is dumb. You should do it the way we do. I'm not, you know, and your pops is actually very forward thinking about stuff like that. But I will tell you this, when when your dad jokes about how old we are and we don't know who's on YouTube anymore, it's not because we're like ah stupid young people. We're like no, we're just th that ship sailed for us. Like <laughs> so, we need you to tell us what's cool and what young people do to care for themselves, like you knows, did. We, me and my me and my brother taught di my dad this slang. Cap. Oh yeah, cap. <laughs> oh, a slang for lying. You're capping me, bro. Oh oh, I oh, never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. What else did we learn? We learned something else. I can't even remember. I don't remember now. I caught you. Any other language? That's gas. Any other that we know? That's gas. Yeah. I don't even know this I know. Some of the words they were saying, I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> My son drops words on me all the time, and I'm all, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I just nod and smile, even though he's, like, way hipper than I'll ever be. Yeah. I was talking to you. I said something. I don't remember what it was. You're like, what is that? I'm like, yeah, what was it? Uh -huh. Just mentioned. All right. Yeah. Maybe it was gaslight. Well, the gaslight, I know what, I know what that thing. is. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Well, like, and now I guess it's like you're like trying to convince somebody that they said something or they did something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. Accurate. So if anyone, you're like when you're 40 and you start dating and <laughs> a man or whoever you do, woman, whoever you're dating, decides to gaslight you, don't let them. All right. Is that... Well, yeah, that's that's <laughs> fabulous parenting. Well done. That's that's <laughs> brought to you by the letter G. If it's a man, kick him in his private parts. Dora. You know. Uh, anyway, but yeah, because there's gaslighters all the time. Oh God, and and it doesn't matter. There are people that will try to convince you things, like, and I mean, you you doubt your own. Like you know, but like you're just like, oh, like. Am I wrong? Like, am I wrong? Are they right? Like, yeah. Question reality, right? Yeah, and then you just like do it. 
people can be manipulative and that's why self-care is important because once we start investing in ourselves yes and then we go you know what this person might be a little toxic i might not spend a lot of time with them or just keep them in our arms you know not that we're gonna you know punch them in the nose or talk crap on them behind their back (laughs) but just keep a distance sometimes that distance is important and that is a form of self-care too Uh when we see oh gosh there's a toxic person bye-bye yeah yeah surround yourself with positive they always say the people you surround yourself that is possibly your future so if you see that they're going down a bad area if you stick with them Let you're going out area yeah you see people who are motivated passionate caring <clears throat> yeah you're gonna be like that more yeah. you know so what if i'm passionate about breaking and entering do you know what that is no <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm, what if i'm passionate so saying things that you don't understand <laughs> <laughs> no breaking Aaron is hey no let's go out <clears throat> i see a cool tv in that house Let's go break oh, in there and see. get it. Yeah, I know that. Do you want to do it? No. Why? Because. The cool people are doing it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> do you want a new TV or what? No. Are you going to snitch on me? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you should go. Self-care. <laughs> maybe you should leave and then you go snitch on me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Good. You passed. <laughs> yeah, that, that, your dad's right, though. Finding people that, are, that have good intentions, that make us feel good about ourselves. And not good because, oh, you're the best and you're the best. Not that kind of good. Yes, but like, just like, you're like, you're everything you need. Yeah. But just being comfortable in your own skin yeah. and letting people be comfortable in like, their own skin. You be you and then them, they can be them. Like, yes. who they want to be, you, they can be that. And who you want to be, you can be that. Love it. All right. Knuckle bump. All right. You want to finish with the safety takeaways? <clears throat> <clears throat> Thoughts on safety. Give us a couple things we talked about safety. Like with hobbies. No uh. panic. Uh. <laughs> You're not on the spot. We can edit this out. <laughs> I know. Um, we talk about safety a fair amount. What do we talk about? Like, not going somewhere without telling somebody, I guess. Like, if you're going to go to, like, say, like, a lot of the kids at my school, they go to Taco Bell after school. Like, they have to, like, ask and stuff. Like, and, like, what they do at Taco Bell could get them in trouble at school. Like, it's just, like, how like it the consequences yeah even if you're just there <clears throat> a group so started there. a fight and you're kind of there or they're throwing stuff and yeah. food fight and you're really not doing anything but it's kind of the association like, well, in the group and you can still get trouble for yeah very good because they don't know if you were in it or not if you say that they, you think you'd be lying could be and i really like the approach of uh burritos as self-care because <laughs> heck yeah <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's, if you want to go do something and oh, you know what, me and so-and-so are going to go down to, we want to go down to, uh, the local Taco Bell or Del Taco or whatever. You got to check in, yeah, like, right? Like, that's safe. Like, but you're, you're, yeah. once you get the okay, then you can go, <clears throat> you can go and then you can enjoy your company. You don't have anything hanging over your head going, Oh God, what if my parents find out? I'm not supposed to be, Oh God, I'm not supposed to let it the house. It's raining. Good. My parents don't want me out when it's raining because I'm made of sugar or whatever. Um, but no, it's, <laughs> maybe mom or dad don't want you to go out yeah. because it's not safe. Yeah. You know, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. I get that from the other one. It's like, I can do this. And I go, well, you're not seeing the big picture because you're 10. <laughs> so, so yeah, we get a little like, why? Why? This is easier to go to the dangerous area oh, yeah. versus the safer area. And I go, it's easier and it's probably quicker, but not safer. Yeah. All right. So check in. emergency, who do you call? 911. What do you got to do first? Tell me your location. All right. Smart. I like it. You remember your three weapons? Mind, voice, body. Okay. So let me ask you this. Um, let's pretend <laughs> that you are... Let's pretend you are at a. Do you like comic books at all, or do you like bookstores, or like do you? What are you, what are you into? Yeah, I'm a total nerd. nerd, nerd, like, nerd. This is not a revelation. <laughs> so let's pretend you're you're at a place. Maybe you're at a, a Bed Bath and Beyond, or you're at a ba- Bath and Body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, That's actually what I was looking for. I don't know where Bed Bath. Oh, because I need. I want to get some stuff. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but let's oh, say you're at Bath and Body Works and you're looking at like skincare stuff. And you're like, oh, I want that lotion, or I want that astringent, I want the or whatever. And let's say dad's over at the shoe store down the way at the mall. Yeah. And you feel like, you know, some creepers creeping on you. What do you do? Who can you ask for help in that situation? And dad's in a different store. The workers. Yeah. We find out who the community helpers are. How do you know they're working there? Because they have the name tag and like the apron. Yeah, it was a really good place you could go that they're always near. Like 
cat the, the calendar. Yeah. First of all, for clarity, I would never be at the shoe store. I'm always hovering around <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> It is Who's that creepy guy in the corner? Oh, that's just my dad making sure I'm safe. Not everybody has a ninja for a father. <laughs> so. All right. Well, this is our time. You will have a question for Uncle Dave? No. Nothing? You hate him, don't you? <laughs> no. Okay, don't did project. You say, did, you, did you say thank you for the pasta that they made? Oh, wait, what? It was really good. The what? Our Christmas what? pasta. Oh, did you guys like it? The pasta mom put together. The, oh yeah, that was Dave and Anthony. Did and did, did you and Dylan like the the little the little movie pack or whatever? Yeah. Did you share? You could just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Liar with your pants that are on fire, my friend. Okay, but that's all right. As long as you guys enjoyed it, that's all. That <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Noel. You, Dave. And that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast, Movement for Change. We hope that our discussion has left you with new perspectives and insights that can help you change mindsets and save lives. Please visit us at GetSafeUSA.com for resources, trainings, and if there's a topic you want to hear about or you have questions, please email us at info at GetSafeUSA.com. Together, we can make the change we want to see.